Good morning, observers. Today we're going over several interesting visualizations. The asteroid Bennu samples offer big perspective, and we've got a story on electrodynamic solar forcing. But we also have space weather, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. While the coronal hole continues turning through, the large sunspot group finally decided to let one rip. An M6.7 solar flare erupted from the active region on the north. Otherwise, we didn't have much in the way of eruptive activity. But we already had space weather on the way, so let's first take a closer look at the solar flare. It was interesting that it was spread across three portions of the active region, rather than just one. The eruption released a CME that is likely going to miss our planet. But the first of two impacts is underway. They were already on their way to Earth, and what you see as the purple line bends up at the right is the rising plasma speed of the solar wind stream due to the coronal hole. Only minor geomagnetic unrest is building now, but the stream should last all day, and don't forget, there's a small CME coming right behind it. Looking to the sunspots, they really are confined to one quadrant up there on the north. The magnetic complexity is modest, certainly has the positioning of magnetic opposition set up, but the umbral cores just aren't very big, almost like it's the remnants decaying from a once larger group. We will keep watching. Quick note on weather up next, this node near Australia is pumping out potential cyclones. Four systems on watch right now, and at the western reach of the influence, that's the cyclone heading for Madagascar. Eyes open in the southern hemisphere, it is storm season. Initial temperature marks for North America are out for last month, hot node in northeastern Canada, and one of the coldest months for the USA on record. Quite the inverted scenario from expectations there. Up next, there are several new animations of data visualization from the Goddard SVS. These show where the water is stored in the ground, its changes over time, and even areas where natural versus human use are having an appreciable impact on the moisture. Up next, folks, they have found every pre-life protein structure from Earth in the sample from asteroid Bennu. But not only that, they found others we don't have here on Earth. Folks, most scientists are looking at this as a sign. Life is likely both capable of being vastly different than we know, and the notion of panspermia and life across the cosmos just got a huge boost, now considered normal in the universe. Last but not least, this was a fantastic study that confirmed in highly detailed way something most of you here at the channel already know. Solar storms carry huge weight and modulation of surging ionospheric currents and the vertical currents of the global electric circuit. This is how solar forcing works in minutes and what is completely left out of every single climate model. Folks, Observer Review special coming out this afternoon. Every month there is an e-magazine issue of the top science news and context and a special release as well, like our Pulse Shift video series now. Sign up at the link below. It's two weeks till the next issue, a few hours until part three of the video series. And don't forget, guys, it's February now, so you should be planning your trip to come out and see us at Observer Ranch. Lots going on, big events, many more than what I've got listed here, and it all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.